Good evening, gentlemen, uh, everyone in ICS3U and 4U. I hope you guys are doing well out there. So this is Mr. Hill, and uh, I'm, I'm going to do my best to support you uh, electronically while we're away. Um, and I'm going to try to do some little videos to, um, you know, break up some of the, the steps, uh, teach some of my lessons uh, that will help you chip away at that first Instagram uh, caption cleaner assignment. Okay, so notice that um, uh, I have posted the caption cleaner assignment. I'm not going to go through that completely right now. The focus of this video is really to, to do some teaching um, that will help you move along. Okay, so I've posted the happier sad problem from uh, you Waterloo. And, um, and the purpose of that is to give my demos a little bit of focus so I can use that problem to um, teach you some... Uh, some skills and some tools that you can use to help you complete your first assignment. Okay, so if you click on happy or sad, you'll see it'll open it up in uh, in, in, in D2L and um, Basically this problem. I'm not going to go through and read it, but you can read it. It's there um, you know, it reads in a text message and, um, and It allows you to search a text message for uh, happy faces and sad faces and um, and allows you to analyze that text message based on those faces to determine whether or not the text message is happy or sad okay so um, you know my first focus in REPL I'm gonna I'm gonna start my little REPL here is to uh, you know teach you about uh, you know first how to, uh, to 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 bring in a um, a text message okay so we're gonna we're going to create a little variable for text message, and that is going to um, store um, our input. Okay, so we're going to input a string. Okay, and uh, you got to mind my typing here. This is one of the places I'm going to get exposed during these videos. Is my typing isn't the greatest, but you have to bear with with me. I don't have any editing tools, so um, you know the videos might be a little longer than I want them but um, it's the best I can do uh, given the circumstances, okay? So we're gonna input a, uh, a message, a string, okay? And um, one of the, the little tools that we can use in Python and Java um, is the split function, okay? And so what split does is break things up into an array of words, okay? So I'm basically, um, I'm gonna create another variable called array of uh, words. Okay, and um, I'm going to use the split function. So I'm going to take text message, and I'm going to split it. Okay, now in the um, in the brackets here, um, you use a delimiter. Okay, and a delimiter can be um, it can be no space like I have here. It can be a space. So it would basically take a, uh, you know, um, a paragraph and it would break it up um, for every space. It would put each word um, into a different uh, 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 space in, in the array. Okay. And one of the benefits of, of breaking it into an array, it allows us to search it really easily. Okay. So let's just test this out. You know, if I wanted to, you could use um, uh, a comma is another common uh, delimiter. Okay, um, you might see, um, yeah, a, a, a comma and a space are the, the two most common ones that, that you'll see, okay? Um, now, uh, one of the, the, the things that we can do to test to see if this work, working, to test to see if this is working is to, to print it out, okay? So I'm gonna use a for loop here. So for i um, in range, okay, and I'm gonna put my range in here. I'm gonna start at zero. Okay, and then the end of my range, I'm going to use the length function. And what I want to use is I want to take the length of um, array of words. Okay, and what that is going to do is it's going to return the size of the array of words. So um, basically, I'm going to um, I'm going to start at zero, and then my last index will be uh, will be the the biggest uh, will, will be the, the 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 length of uh, will be the length of or the size of the number of words in the in the paragraph. Okay, put a little semi colon there, and then I'm going to go print. Okay, 
And what I want to do here is I'm going to print uh, array of words. Um, but what I want to do is on each line I want to separate. Um, I want to separate uh, the words. So it's going to take in a paragraph um, and then and, and break it up so I print it line by line. Okay, and so let's just test it out. Okay, so here is an example. Okay, and you can see right now that I've taken a, um, a string and I've uh, stored it in an array and I've, I've printed it word by word. So now at least I can analyze this. Okay, so that's one of the common tools that you can use to, um, to test to see if your uh, functions are working. I do it all the time. Um, okay, and so the next little st the next little thing I want to show you um, is kind of how to 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 analyze um, each element in, um, in in the paragraph. Now, um, you know w one of the things that you have to do for the Instagram assignment is to um, look for inappropriate emoticons. Okay, so this little uh, this little tool right here is a great way to search your paragraph uh, or your caption to find um, inappropriate uh, words or the words that you're looking for, okay? So once again, I'm gonna use this for loop because I wanna go through each element in the array. Okay. And um, um, I'm gonna have a little if statement here. And so if um, we want our array of words, Okay, is equal to, um, in this case, we're gonna look at a happy face. So in the, the, the Waterloo problem, um, I believe they use this as a happy face. Okay, so if it's equal to a happy face, what we're gonna do is we're going to um, increase our happy face counter. Happy face counter, plus 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 equals one, okay? Now, um, the next little condition I wanna include is if array of words at i is equal to, um, we're gonna look for a sad face, so we're gonna use the colon, this little mark here, and a sad face, okay? Um, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the elif here. Okay. And if it's equal to a sad face, we're going to have a sad face counter. And I'm gonna go plus equals one. Okay. So right now we're gonna go through our our, our caption. Uh, if it has a happy face, we're going to count the happy faces. If it has a sad face, we're going to count the sad faces. Um, uh, and one of the things, when I declare a variable inside a, an if statement or a loop or something, it only exists within, with, uh, within that loop. So what I want to make sure I do is I declare these at the top. So I'm going to have my, um, my, my happy face counter, and I'm just going to set it equal to zero and uh, my sad face counter. I'm gonna set that equal to zero. So now they'll exist beyond um, beyond that loop. Actually, what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna reorganize this a little bit and put this, okay, just because I'm particular about how I want to lay things out. And um, and then so that will keep track of the number of um, happy faces and the number of sad faces. Okay. Um, and the last thing I want to do, um, well, we can test that to see if it's working. So let's run it again. Uh, hold on. Before we do that, we're going to have to test to see if um, we actually have we can print um, our uh, happy face counter and our print our sad face counter and um, we'll test to see if that works so i'm going to run this okay now here is an example uh, 
ha ha. Okay, and so here's an example, and I put a nice happy face in there. You can see that my counter is equal to one. Okay, so um, you know this is a great strategy for um, for reading in um, a, a, a string. Okay, breaking it up into um, an array of words. Okay, and that allows you. And these are two different strategies for testing to see if it works, and also um, uh, having some sort of uh, condition to be able to examine each word in your paragraph. Okay, I'm going to stop this video there, and um, I hope this helps uh, for now, and um, and stay tuned for more. Hope you're well. If you have any questions, make sure you email me. Okay, guys, stay safe.